Is that a snag or a fish? Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Today we are out at a new lake. Uh, I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. Um, as you guys can tell, it's completely frozen over. doing this for like half an hour but it looks like I'm almost there to open water it's gonna be a pain to get back though oh my god Whew. oh that's a lot of work holy fuck we're in 12 feet of water right now water temp like 38 39 well this has been fish. not sure what they are but let's anchor up right here all right let's start off with the little 2.8 inch kitek i think this is a 1 8 ounce or 1 16 ounce jig head i'm just gonna let it sink and slow retreat right where i came in from basically I'm not sure if you could see, but there's like a trail of the ice I broke. Oh man, that took a while. You just hear in the background, just the ice, just like chirping. All right, going with the trusty Rapala Ripping Rat. Let's see if we get a bite. Now what I'm doing with the ribbon wrap is I'm just yo-yoing it and then occasionally letting it drop and just sit at the bottom, dead sticking it and just twitching it while it's sitting at the bottom. And then go back to yo-yoing. But as you guys can see, I'm not in like the main portion of the lake yet behind here um, we could start making our way down there uh, after I finish up with this area but it's a pretty nice day out not too windy oh we got a bite we got a bite oh missed it missed it missed it missed it missed it and I didn't rig my spinning reel yet but I might rig up a drop shot just to slow down a little bit all right now let's pick drop shot bait I go with the X Zone Finesse Slammer and the uh, Minnow Magic color. I love drop shot baits like this because the I actually used this before, huh? But the um, the flat bottom just grabs so much water and keeps it horizontal. Looks pretty good. Now the way I'm gonna fish this is pretty slow, dead stick, shake, slow drag, basically. This is going to be a last cast. It's going to be nice and slow. And then we're going to move positions. I mean, you guys can see the conditions I'm in right now. I mean, half the lake is frozen. But I'm going to stick it out until I catch something, you know. Never give up, right? It's pretty amazing how this little BFS SLX can cast a little 1 16th ounce swim bait pretty far even with some wind oh yeah and don't forget guys we are going to be trying out that new ramen today we're gonna find a little spot after we're done fishing and uh try it out for lunch all right is that a snag or a fish oh that's a fish that's a fish that's a nice fish. Oh, 
That's a nice fish there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice bass. Nice bass. No! No way. Come on. That would be my PV right there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but that was a tank. That was at least five, six pound bass right there that I just dropped. Oh man, I can't believe I just did that, dude. Oh my God, I messed up. Well, we had a fish on the little 2.8 inch Kytec. Now uh, this one's getting a little trash, so we're gonna put a new one on. Fish can get a little bit right on the tail. Just like that, check that out, looks good. Now this stuff spills, it stinks like garlic. I mean, it's not a bad smell, but it's just overwhelming, you know? All right, we're on something, finally. A little swim bait. Let's see what we got here. Pick roll, good pick. Good little pick. Nice, got something. Whew. We'll uh, weigh it up real quick. One point eight pound. Looks like something messed it up though. Like that. Some scarring on him. Where he's caught recently. Yeah, let's let him go. Woo. Decent fish. Let's check our line. Let me show it's torn up too. Check that out. Alright, time for a little bathroom break. What the heck is that? Oh, check this out. There's a dead duck right here. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh well. Rest in peace, little buddy. Well, that wasn't super successful. As you guys probably could tell, there was a bit of a cold front last night. And yesterday it was pretty freezing out. The water's still pretty frozen, but opened up a lot. We had the chance of catching, which I think was my PV bass, but dropped them which sucks but uh and after that just got a pick roll not too bad but now we're just gonna eat and then get out of here so here's the ramen Nissan Roa King of Rum. Really curious to see how this is going to turn out. Well, let's open this up. Looks like it's just a soup base. No flake. And it looks like it's a liquid too. Oh, check that out. It smells like teriyaki. That smells way better than I thought it would. The noodle texture is a little different too than regular ramen. Let's read a description here real quick. Nissin Roa means king of ramen in Japanese. Is a best-selling premium instant noodle brand in Japan. Countless noodle connoisseurs love Roa's authentic savory Japanese soup and triple layered non-fried noodles. That's some next level stuff. Oh, let's crack this in half. Oh, wait. oh shoot, I'm going to Whoa, okay. Oh shit, that was 
it's hot. All right, first bite, let's try it out. It's really hot, but it's pretty cold outside, so I don't think it'll matter. That is really good. It's like a soy sauce flavor. The noodle texture is very good. It's not too soft. It's a little chewy, but the flavor of the soup is what kind of makes it better. Now this was $4 for one pack. It definitely is worth trying it, but definitely not buying like a bunch of it and expecting it to taste like as good as real ramen. But the texture is like nothing I've ever had as far as instant ramen goes. Very good. You can see like the oil in it too. Flavor. All right, so ramen rating review the Nissin Roa. I'll probably have to give it... Now, texture and the taste of the soup base was really good. A lot better than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like a dry base, but it was like an oil, wet soup base, which is really cool. But I'll give it a... Um, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. A 4 out of 5 just because I feel like there could have been a little bit extra stuff, like dry stuff that they could have added to kind of give it more texture whether it be like dried green onions and stuff like that some little vegetables would have been pretty good but that was pretty good definitely warmed me up and it's freezing outside so chopstick all right well the sun's about to set and um i would say that was a pretty successful little trip it's always good to explore new waters uh try a new ramen that was pretty good but if you guys stayed until the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It's free and I put out content every week. Um, still new channel, trying to grow, but hopefully you guys will be along for the ride. Thanks for watching, guys.